Welcome to the Dark Imperium Dive Bar. What can I pour you? Say Sally sells, she sells by the teacher's teacher. Sally's a bitch. Uh. Alright, say it again. Sally's a fucking bitch. Welcome to Do a Dark Imperium Dive Bar. Little stutter in the beginning, but all three of us are here. We're missing Mr. Goodwin today. I he's think, out. I think he's dead, but... We he's have in the jungle, literally fighting off giant centipedes right now. Right, so dead. Well, it, well uh... No, we, he's fighting it valiantly. We all right. hope that his uh, adventure to Kong Skull Island is, uh, <laughs> is fortuitous for him. Uh, with me here today, I am, I am Nate. I'm back. I missed a podcast or two, I think. Just one. Just, just one? one. Yeah, Alright, one or two. Just we'll one. agree on that. Just right, one or two. Fine, whatever. Uh, sitting to my left here at the computer, recording everything my dumb mouth says, is my good friend Aaron. Hey, how you doing? And sitting over here to my right, consuming quantities of snacks. Oh, so many snacks. Drinking all my wine, is Taylor. <laughs> the snack lord. Snack lord. <laughs> all my wine. Mine well, now. I'm going to go get more right now. Uh, hello everyone, so uh, today uh, we're going to go into, uh, we just had our 40k state championships up here uh, in Anchorage uh, for Alaska and it was, it, was, it was a hell of a time, it was real fun, um, thank you to Tier 1 for hosting it um, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention that uh, the next upcoming events uh, would be our Midnight Sun GT uh, at the end of July. I believe that's July 20th and 21st. I don't know numbers. All right. 21st, 22nd, something like that. 21st, 22nd. Um, if you Google Midnight Sun GT, that'll be up. That's up in BCP Player. And then we also have Battlezone, Battlezone Urza coming up in September. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into what happened at States. Weeks first. Weeks. Weeks. We've been gone for like three weeks. Oh, that's true. I mean, I mean, I I didn't do much. I haven't been doing much hobbying. What have you been doing? I have been painting a lot of Edmic. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, for like the the first time since Harlequins, I've been painting Armory Arm Arm for fun. Yeah. Instead of painting because I have to take it to a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I got all my Sekitari hoplites done, which I'm actually really proud of. Um, I'm working on my breachers currently. I finished all my rangers. Painted up my converted uh, Dominus from a. Uh, I converted him from a. Um, a Secutor Mermidon or Mermidon Oh, Secutor. I swear to God, I thought you were gonna. Oh, it's yeah? like, do not turn that Lord Discordant into a freaking. <laughs> I, want, I, I really wanted to, but do it. It's way too much work. Coward. <laughs> way too much chaos shit on there. I'm good. I don't need that in my life. I'll just buy the Anarchist Scoria model. Put a fucking... Oh, I'm, I don't want to do the chaos one. It's got too much chaos stuff on it for the dark fucking Mechanicum. He doesn't have any chaos <laughs> stuff on there. He's just a giant scorpion. No, he's covered in Necron scarabs. That's cool. That's not chaos. Ish? That's Xeno stuff. Oh, that's it's okay. worse. Oh, that's cooler. As <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. It's worse as we're going to talk about the Tau Codex today. It's worse. It's worse. I hate it so much. Fucking Xenos. Um, I, oh, I've been reading the Sabbath Crusade books mm -hmm. by Dan Abnett. They're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Abnett. They're, they're fine. fine. You're fine. Lackluster, I would say. Totally acceptable. Without this man that you consider just okay, it is fine. you would not have the current incarnation of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm, that's fair. No, it's true. Yeah. It's not It's not fair or unfair. It's true. No, I think it's fair. <laughs> Nate, what have Done you been... Done talking about yeah, your week. Yeah. It's yeah. Nate's Nate, turn now. Nate, what have you been doing? <laughs> My beautiful What can I talk about on this podcast? Uh, whatever you want. What have you been doing? Yeah, what have you been doing, bro? So, since we're going back to before states, I painted my 2,000 points of Eldar. Yeah. Uh, probably, I got the majority of my planes up, running five planes. Mm -hmm. Probably want to have more Dark Reapers, though. Because I think they did a lot of work for me you in have, oh yeah. the vast majority of my games. You have eight? I have ten, but I only brought eight in that list. Okay, cool. Because points. And I feel like I should probably drop the Wind Riders for something else. So, one part of our, our week set, we didn't go over, or I didn't go over, whatever. Um, me and you play a lot of practice games. Yeah, I got destroyed. First dates. 
And I think I only won those games because I played around the Dark Reapers. Because the Dark Reapers are really good against me. Yeah. Um, three damage draw uh, is really good against my Breachers. Yeah. Not to mention Icarus. Icarus is really... Yeah, fuck those things. Yeah, they're fucking great. Um, so yeah, me and you practiced a lot for States. Um, which was pretty cool. Thank God I didn't have to play you. Yeah. That would have been it was bad enough with a pylon. And Ooh, yeah. Doomsday Arcs that I couldn't kill. For whatever ungodly reason, I just couldn't get the final wound through. Well, you need to roll low damage, you silly lady. Because he'll just roll cosmic shields. No, I know. He was rolling some hot ones, by the way. Oh, no, mm. no players do that. Mm. Every yeah. single one of them. Uh, and then, yeah, there's a Talus there that tore me apart as well. But I think there was a lot of misplaying on my part. I hadn't really gotten, besides the three or four games that uh, Taylor and I played, I hadn't really gotten into mm-hmm. the majority of the swing because Eldar is still fairly new to me. Yeah. yeah uh, we can talk about those games. Yeah. We'll what talk about Yeah. What did you earn? I I still haven't been doing much hobbying. Um, I I was a judge at states, so I was very much preparing for that. That was like my premier judging day, um, and I I'm not gonna lie. You know, I've been playing this game. I feel like I know no rules, but I'll be damned if I wasn't picking up books. Like, do I know what movement is? <laughs> like, like, just in case, you know. Like, I never. Oh, I didn't, it's it's fun. Oh, it's yeah. fun. Seven <laughs> years of it in three editions. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, like, it's just, it, it, it's it's a weird thing where you have to ask yourself, do I really know this? Am I actually playing this game? And I'll tell you what, I didn't write them down. I, I very much should have. And maybe when Matt gets back, uh, we can talk about it next time. But, um, man, there were some interesting things that came up during States that, like, just fucking... All I'm hearing is exempt from painting. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't have to paint. Oh my god, dude, I was so happy. I was so happy that I didn't have to paint because I was I was so ready to have to three color minimum ninety pink horrors and then do so for sixty Zangor and Sounds just awful. And it it really was gonna be base minimum. Like it was gonna be like, oh, uh, it was gonna be bad. They were gonna look awful. I painted like. 30s Qatari for this event, and I was ready to die. By yeah, that. yeah. I, I, I had a plan to do with uh, painters tape and spray paint, like because I was not going to deal with that. No, this is awful. Um, but yeah, uh, not much hobbying uh, to do with that. I'm mostly just trying to get an army nailed down right now, basically. Um, and really, I'm looking forward to buckling down on. In armies such as Dark Angels, I'm I'm really leaning back towards getting fully into the Dark Angels and just fully painting them, and yeah. then just being like, you know what, I've painted them. Now I'm gonna leave them the fuck alone. Oh sure, gotcha. they're painted. I have my painted army. Fair. <laughs> leave <Yeah>. them alone. <laughs> That's fair. I thought you were gonna go full zinch after this, honestly. I. You always it, want to. The desire. Is I always want there. to. It's difficult. Um, it goes back and forth. Yes. Um, yeah. So that's that's really been me. I didn't do much but prepare for states and prepare for judging. And man, it was great. Um, if uh, you are ever thinking about offering to your local game store to judge, I think it was really fun. I mean, Nate's been doing it for forever, so he... <laughs> it has its ups and downs. It has its uh, ups and downs. But I We can lo- go into that at another time. I There's... loved watching all those games. I really did. I judged one tournament of Magic, and I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good forever. So, uh, when it comes to states... Uh, guys, what's, um, what's, what's some select games that you, uh, you so really enjoy? I had two enjoyed? really good games that I want to talk about, but I think you should go first. Okay. Uh, First of all, where did you guys place? I placed third. Seventh. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So, that's pretty cool. This yeah. is the first... So, this didn't end up being a GT. It ended up being a Super RTT, just because so many fucking people dropped. Before the yeah. It really sucked. It was honestly. so weird. It was yeah. like, literally 12 people that was like, oh, I'm not showing up, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It. Uh, we had a bunch of people from a lot of... Alaska is a very hard state to travel within. It's, it's easy to get here, but it's hard to move around within it. Uh, prices for things are very high, so we had a lot of people from farther out in the state not be able to make it due to uh, issues on their end. But yeah. I know that they're still very interested in continuing. We had one of the guys from the island of Kodiak. Yeah. He, uh, he showed up. up. Hey. He's and uh, 
definitely said that all the people who wanted who had not been able to come definitely very much wanted to and will probably be up here in the future I hope that's cool uh, I talked to that guy he's really cool yeah I liked him yeah random guy for listening to this you were a cool guy <laughs> you were okay I, in my book I think you were you pretty played, dope I think you played Blood Angels or something but yeah I had uh, played five games uh, two days didn't have a bad game really mm-hmm. I mean I lost I lost two of those five games but I can't say I had an opponent that really rubbed me the wrong way, so I count that as a uh, as a win for me. That's that's always a win for me when I'm at a tournament. Like that's a big thing for me. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. So my first round opponent was playing Custodes. Okay. Uh, that man has my Telewan. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Okay, guys. All right, so. Taylor Taylor sells out his custodes to me one day because I was like, whatever, I want some shiny golden boys. And I was like, I wanted your Harley wins. Yeah, yeah. So we kind of made like a trade and I paid him a little bit more. Um, and uh, and so I get this cool Telemon and everything like that. And I'm like, these are all pretty dope. And Taylor did some really cool stuff with the bases where he baked some clay and he made it look all glacial and ice. It was yeah, really cool. Like um, and I still have a ton of those troops. Um but there came a point where I, I just wasn't playing them, and so I just decided to just be like, ah, oh, you know, I'll sell the Telemon, I'll sell the bikers, things like that. Um, it, it was actually mostly the uh, ITC faction, um, like like the faction main main faction right. change. Because you didn't want to play them as a main faction. I didn't. Um, and I didn't want to not play main factions, as weird as that sounds. No, I, I don't. I don't want to play soup. Um, so... So... I sell this Telemon to this dude out in Fairbanks, which is how how far from Fairbanks? Is it's an eight-hour eight drive. Hours? It's an eight-hour drive. Oh. Yeah, so it's just I, I mail it out there to him, everything like that, and then uh, sure enough, uh, as we're looking at the armies at the start of states, I think I look at that Telemon and I think that that, that was familiar. That, I've seen this before, <laughs> and Taylor had recently been saying, you know, I really want that Telemon back. <laughs> <laughs> and there it was, and you had to play it. <laughs> I, did. I did have to kill it, which honestly, it's for the best. I got to sever my ties, say my goodbyes. <laughs> it's it's for the best, honestly. Anyway, sorry. But Go yeah. ahead. Uh, my list was essentially five Eldar flyers, two okay. hemlocks. Go for list. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a battalion of fire wing, two hemlocks, and three crimson hunter exarchs. Star cannons, which I quite enjoy. Star cannons. I told you they're the best option. Yeah, no, they are. They're definitely good. Yep. Uh, the battalion was uh, the the air wing was Ulth, uh, not Ulthway was Altiok, and the battalion was Ulthway. Mm-hmm. Had Eldrad and a warlock, right. Lava Guardians, some Dark Reapers, two things of Rangers. Cool. It was good. Some Wind Riders with Shuriken cannons. Oh, you did end up on those. Yeah. Cool. No, they they worked out okay, mm-hmm. and they definitely kept me from being sudden death a few times. How many did you have? I had six. Okay. Gotcha. I think Wedgeriders are quite good. It just depends. Yeah. I feel like I needed to buff them somehow, but just the way I built my list is just so I could buff the Dark Reapers in early. It also depends on, like, your matchups. That's true. Uh, yeah, my first my uh, first round opponent was Custodes. He had a pretty decent Custode list. I just managed to get an upper hand in a lot of situations. Yeah. A lot of things really didn't go his way, and it's... I, I got rid of most of his shooting. That was a problem on turn one and turn two. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had a Caladius Trajan... Three squads of three boys, one one shield in each. A Palladus, I think, is the mini tank. Palace. Palace. I don't. I. He had a Caladius and Palace and four bikers and an assassin that he paid for. Yeah, a shield captain on bike as well. Oh yeah. Which right. actually did a number on me. I got into my back lines. I did not kill it as quickly as I'd hoped. Oh. I'm always weirdly impressed by Taylor's ability to recall lists and events he's been. It's quite useful for for the uh, regurgitation of information. I know everybody. I know everything that I played. Uh. I ended up having to play... I won't go into too depth on most of my games. So I just want to overcome them. There's nothing really stands too much out. Except okay. for my game with uh, Joe, my last round game. Okay. But uh, I played against a pylon and that three right Doomsday Arcs. Yeah, it was my round four. Okay. Uh, did not go well at all. Sure. Uh, leaving day one with a loss to the Tau list, mm-hmm. which... Okay, so you played Tau list turn three? Yep. Okay. Uh, turn two, I played against uh, Space Marines and the new Infiltrator stuff. Okay. Definitely see those infiltrators as really cool. I just wish they were a little cheaper. 
wish there were the 22 points or wish there were 20. Yeah, 20 seems de- seems decent. Yep. Uh, the rules didn't really interact with me that much. Right. But it just seems like it's a nice little bit of mobility. It, it just, it, it, like the best you could do in that match is mess with your guardians a little bit. Yeah. Like if, if, you, if you, it depends on how many he has, if he spaces that correctly, he can really like shut out the guardians because they only have 12 in train, you have to land more in 12 away, they can't shoot, mm-hmm. which is really nice. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just for 20 points. I think I think they're really useful. I think, just, just I think it was one of his one of his very first games he was playing. Uh, definitely had a cool, fun attitude, and I hope to see him at more events. Cool. Uh, I yeah. can't open this fucking rum! <laughs> <laughs> you got this, dude. I believe you. Alright, three, two, one, go. Run it under the tap. Yeah, okay. Alright, that's fair. Okay. Cool. So, J- round five, you play Joe. Yeah, round five, I play Joe. Joe's one of our good buddies. He's uh, good friend. Long time friend. Known him since college. Uh, he actually... Uh, helped judge and actually effectively judged more than I did because I was running and doing other stuff. Cool. Uh, the first Battles of Ursa Warhammer uh, event. Right. This cool guy. Yeah. But uh, he was running IG. Okay. I think he had two Baneblade tanks, a Baneblade with the big shooty gun, he had, a Stormlord, yes. a Minotaur, a yep. Trojan, and some squads for a battalion. Yep. I think he had a Psyker too. He had, yes, he had one Primary Psyker. And I managed to just about kill a Baneblade a turn. Okay. Which is about average. Mm-hmm. And it came down to it. Uh, we lasted a full six game turns. Mm-hmm. It was fun. He killed He killed some of my stuff. Mean, yeah. Full six. Mm-hmm. That's surprising. I had to dedicate the majority of my firepower to killing Baneblades. This event, I did not roll very hot at all. That's fair. Uh, I try not to blame my dice, but definitely didn't come up aces. I mean, sometimes you just roll, like, average or below. Yeah. It was fine though. I still did uh, better than I expected. Probably just because the list is brainless. But <laughs> I honestly don't disagree with that. Yeah. Um, that's all five games. It's five games. You lost to Town Necrons. Town Necrons. The pylon was not fun. I couldn't kill a. Uh... Actually, I wasn't really worried about the pylon. Yeah. It'd kill a plane a turn, but whatever. Not even like guaranteed, right? Because only some threes. True. It, it does raw. It does do raw six. Per, uh, it does plus two three. So it does average eight. Which can one shot a flyer? No, okay. My my major problem was I was ironically enough his tomb blades. That makes sense. His well, that doesn't make sense. Destroyers. I can see destroyers being a huge issue. I think if you don't kill destroyers for one of the you lose again. No, it was a matter of uh, I phantasmed to get away from, with my uh, wave serpent okay. to get away from okay. where the destroyers were at, and he just veiled or whatevered it. So he just popped up right wherever I put it when I phantasmed. Gotcha. Holy shit. <clears throat> it, Sorry, uh, guys. Bartender was having a problem. Fair, you got it, though. Uh, so that's your five games. You finished seventh. Mm-hmm. Which, per respectful, honestly, for you, you played the list like four times. Yeah. So, cool. Um, go to my games now. Is that like 90% rum? All I can smell is rum. Yeah, it's... Woo! Bartender was having a problem. <laughs> okay. All right. We in there. So, I played all five games. I My list was... Adeptus Mechanicus, or by faction was Adeptus Mechanicus. Um, I played with a Stygis Battalion that had a Dominus and a Manipulus. The Manipulus was the real warlord. Depending on the situation, I would either take Prime Medicon, which is real all failed hits in combat, or I would take uh, the regen command points on six. Um, and then my fake warlord, which with the um, the, the Servitor Manipul- Manipul- excuse me, um, the Dominus was that warlord because most of the strategies interact with him. So, um, and then I had three squads of six catapult breachers, uh, with all had hydraulic claws. I think the hydraulic claws are better, just because your strength ten, and you take a minus one to hit. But the manifold stratagem can be used in the melee phase, so you can negate that and then reroll it with the roller tree. So I think if you keep your characters really like bumped in, you're, you're fucking golden. Um, and the strength ten power fist with AP one. Oh no, there's a ghost. Oh, oh, a door just opened. <laughs> what up, demons? It's your boy. <laughs> and in the Stygian Battalion, I had those, and I had three Icarus Doom Crawlers. Um, and then I had a Grai Battalion of two Edge of Seers and three units of Skatari, each of them having six guys, and two of them had two units of snipers. And then I had 20 Secutory Hoplites, which I talked about. Yeah, those those were the ones I was super excited to see that you decided on bringing, for yeah, sure. Same. So those 
Because you never see those, I feel. I don't. I have never seen them before. I've seen them once That's before. Fair. Yeah, but that was like heresy. No, I saw them in actual 40 game. Oh before. my god. Um, I think, I'm going to talk about it, but I think they're fucking great. I think yeah. they're a super useful tool for Adeptus Mechanicus. Like, they were heroes in my games. Mm-hmm. They were awesome. Um, and then I had... Oh, I had a knight. I had a knight crusader. Yeah. I did I did not did up taking the knight crusader. Crass Seder. Yep. And no taser chickens. I swapped out the taser chickens for... That's the, right! You didn't have the taser chickens. I had absolutely not. I didn't think about that. Yep. I swapped them out for the hot plates and a bunch more points in other places. Huh. Yeah. Um, so game one was really awesome. Yeah. This is one of the best games of 40k I've ever played. And definitely, probably the most interesting. It was against Gene Sealer Cult, which I've never played before. Um, actually, this game was on stream, which was super cool. Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, Tier 1 Cards and Games, I think, is uh, the name of their um, yeah, it's stream. On yeah, it's on yeah. Twitch. Uh, you'll be able to catch those VODs. You can see some sweet, sweet Taylor ass. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. As he doesn't pull his pants up. I refuse. And um, they also stream magic. And they also stream magic. Yeah. No yeah. Magic, yeah. Is this our? Are we just we're just sponsoring yeah, we're just, Tier One on this? I mean, if you're gonna plug the stream, plug the stream. We're yeah. Just fucking shills. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't get um, paid to be a shill, Taylor. Damn it. <laughs> damn it. Yeah. So if you want to watch that game, so it's, there's a VOD for it, which is super cool. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it was against uh, Eric Rickards. Yeah. That dude is super cool. Oh yeah. He's, oh yeah. He, what a like what a fucking hero. Except he wouldn't let me go to the Star Trek thing at Dave and Buster's. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You're, psycho- <laughs> You're fucking psychopath. Good. Uh, yeah, shout out to that. Shout out to him. He's super cool. Uh, anyway, um, he had three acolyte bombs, two with rock saws, one with flamers. And then he had 20 aberrants and all the, the fucking characters to go along with it. Yeah. So, like I said, this is one of the mo- more interesting games of 40k I've ever played. Um, I used my Icarus Doomcrawlers to, like, shield my knight. Um, like, they, they walked up the field together with the knight, uh, uh, like, six inches behind the crawlers. Mm-hmm. With enough space between them that if the crawlers got charged... The knight could come in and, and counter charge. Nice, but in protecting him from charges. Yeah. Um, so he kind of just walked around and, and tried to shoot stuff. There's a lot of landslide like, blocking terrain. We also play with like every terrain piece was a magic box, so I had a really hard time sh- actually shooting at stuff. Oh, so every terrain piece was enterable. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh no. Besides the two giant L's in the middle. Oh no. Yeah. And you guys were playing with the 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 front line bunker yeah. gaming terrain. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that was that was really hard for my list. If I'm going to make a change, I'm going to drop three Skatari, and I'm going to add the Iron Storm to my knight, for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, definitely. I I would like to dip into um, Ashton Maltarm for Wyverns, yeah. but I want to keep... I have so many points in Ad- Adbeck now that I want to keep playing Adbeck. Yeah. So I'm going to keep doing And it. you did really well. You yeah, did. You I got, got there. Got that's, a, that's a solid start. I got like 145 points. Yeah, that's a solid freaking Which start. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, I should probably talk about the game. So, <laughs> no, let's just keep boasting about how fucking cool how you fucking are. fucking cool we are. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 So, um, the, like, first three turns of the game, neither of us got kill or kill more. We only got hold. Neither of us got, got hold more. Um, so, it was really, it was like a chess game. Because I knew that his stuff had to come down when it had to come down. He put his aberrants on the field under blips and then used the stratagem to um, take them away so that he could deep strike them whenever he wanted, um, which came into play. And basically what I did is I spread out in my entire deployment zone and kept all my importance off screen with the heroic fucking hoplites. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would, from the turns I knew that he wanted to come in, I would just spend the command points for acquisition at any cost on the hoplites and keeping them across my entire deployment zone as a shield. Mm. An acquisition at any cost is they get plus one attack and plus one save. They have a four plus save in melee, which means they have three plus involved in melee. And if they roll six to save in melee, they do a mortal wound to you. Ooh. So they're for my entire Ooh. army. I'm spreading out and I'm getting shots where I can. I'm getting, you know, what I can get. Just waiting for him. Yeah. Turn three, his acolyte flamer squad comes down. Flames my um, 
my hoplites, they have triple save because of mm. cover and right. acquisition. He only kills six. Mm, with okay. 20 hand flamers that were re-rolling to wound. Out of how many did you bring again? I had 20. Oh, okay. So I had 14 left. Okay. And then the next turn, or I think actually it was the same turn. It was the same turn. On the same turn, uh, all all of the acolytes with hand with hand saws charge him. Well, charge the squad. Uh, the squad didn't die. Killed one squad with just the, well, they killed one squad down to seven guys with just their saves, mm-hmm. and then they have three attacks each now. And they turn around and they zap the other squad to death. Oh, and man. since the other squad wasn't in range and they took a couple more losses from a, from attacks, they died more out. So I absolutely lose this game 100% without the hobbits. Yeah, like, yeah. Because they were just just a, beefy a, fucking... A brick uh, wall. Yeah. Just to stand in front of my army and die. Yeah. And they did it really well. Um, <clears throat> that sounds so much better than just like throwing your rangers in front. Because these actually deal decent damage back. Three attacks each at strength six AP one. Yeah, that, that hit on twos because I pay one CP. And strength They're really six. good. Strength six. Jesus. Strength six is really good. Yeah, especially against T three. So one squad of aberrants on turn four or five, and they come in. They kill a breacher squad. I kill them. Um, they try to wrap some rangers. They do, but I get in the melee and they die. Then he, my knight, is now free to roam around because in turn four, his patriarch charged my knight. But I did. I took, yeah. I took the. Um, the not the won't say to save a melee. Yeah, not optimal for Eric there. No. So yeah, that's that was unfortunate. Yeah. And then the patriarch immediately died. So the knight was then free to roam around. The aberrants coming in his backfield failed a charge, mm. um, on his last turn. So um, I then get I'm then able to get Kilmore and Holdmore, and I win that game twenty four to twenty two. Hmm. Super okay. close game, like genuinely one of the most enjoyable games I've ever played in my life. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was really fun. Yeah. Um, <sighs> fucking shout out to Eric. And you said twenty four twenty two, yeah. Twenty four twenty two. Yeah. So it sounds like he was really able to. There were, it was it was able to keep it low scoring because none of this stuff had to be on the board. Yeah. They could they just fuck off into deep strike. Yeah. Or they could stay there for fucking five turns. And not to go too deep into this one, but do you remember what he took for secondaries? He took Kingslayer, Recon... For your knight? Yeah. And Brown Control. And so your knight didn't lose really anything. Knight lost like four wins. Yeah. Um, he didn't get... He got two points of Ground Control and all of Recon, I believe. Yeah. Because once the stuff came in, like it was there for the entire time. Because I, right. I had to, I had to pen myself up. Otherwise, he's just gonna deep strike into whatever he wanted to kill myself. Um, the vape's a little loud, Aaron. Speaking yeah, it is apparently a bit loud. Hit me with that jewel, bro. No. All right, that's fair. All right. <laughs> Game two was against the Tau player who won the tournament. Um, I don't have much to say other than I have never witnessed in my life someone make. 18 four plus saves in a row that was pretty disheartening um, I have nothing more to say I have nothing other to than that other than man that man can really roll saves good job <clears throat> um, where's the where's the, I did you bring out those salt and vinegar chips I suddenly tasted a little bit my fucking body <laughs> no I he was my uh, round three opponent as well yep uh, decent enough guy hadn't met him before but great he's, guy Cool. He's a, yeah, no, cool guy. Definitely, cool guy. I'm with you on that. He's very enthusiastic about the game. Yeah. Did a few things in my game against him that were out of the norm. He he, he monk caught on turn one. He, he, so, really? okay. Yeah. Hmm. So he put all of his stuff on the line. I deployed it in my backfield. He put all the stuff on his line because he knew. Mm-hmm. And then he monk caught first turn. And then I killed one broadside and got one down to two wounds. And he killed like some rangers. I was like, that's pretty good. Uh, in my second shooting phase, he fails exactly the three saves. Yeah, he was rolling pretty hot. Luckily, I uh, had taken Butcher Bill against him mm-hmm. and was able to ablatively get points from drones. Yeah, I, I did that too. Um, so I got, I got, I mean, I got 18 points on a really, really bad loss. Um, but, like, when your opponent just rolls all the saves, there's not much you can do. So, yeah, right. that's, that's a big fan. I'm not I mean, it's a dice it, game, right? yeah. It's a dice game, so whatever. Um, round three. 
All I really want to say about this game is I really appreciate the guy waiting for me. I had to hang with my hang with my work. Yeah. And he agreed yeah. to delay our game so that we get a full game and it wouldn't have to concede. Yeah. Really, really awesome of him. Um, however, he had twenty wolf in and I killed thirteen of them in the first turn. Ooh. Um, Ooh. That, that's all I really want to say about that game. Ow. Yeah. Oh, and nine wolf guard. Or yeah. me, seven wolf guard with uh, storm shield, storm holders, and bikes. Yeah, and that's, that's that hurts. Yeah, that's all I really want to say about that game. Uh, round four, I played the Custodius guy, uh, who had my Tolman. I killed my Tolman in turn two. Yeah. Sad to watch him go. He did blow up. So. So it was it was spectacular. Right. right. It was it was a good it was a good goodbye. Yeah. It was a yeah. good goodbye. Yeah. It's okay. He probably, like, he looked at you, and, like, you can't tell, because right, he's a dreadnought and he's an ironclad, right. but, like, one tear yeah. rolled down his cheek. And my Dominus knew. Like, my Dominus, Dominus saw him knew. at the same time. Oh, yeah. And there was, like, sure. a, a oil leaking there, from his face. Yeah. They, it, they shared that Oil moment. tears were leaking from faces. But they, they, <laughs> like, they shared that moment, and then I killed him. With, well, it's, it's, what is that gif where it's just... Uh, the dog remembering <laughs> Vietnam? I, I love that. One. I mean, it, <laughs> how does that apply to this situation? It's fine. PTSD. It's whatever. What? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Moving on. Anyway, so I, I, basically, I killed all those five power and I killed them in turn four. Yeah. There's yeah. really not much to say about that. Yeah. Um, turn five was oh, was such a good game. That was that was a so before he begins talking about this, as I'm walking around as the judge. Every time I pass his table uh, in his game against Danny, uh, um, our good, good buddy Danny, uh, he, the entire game has swung a different way. Every single time. Every time. Yeah. It, it blew my fucking mind. It was, um, what, this is such a good fucking game. I wish yeah. this game was strange. This is, this even, is, this even, is even scoring. Right. Swung. <laughs> this was, very easily, like, I know I said this about Eric, but this is probably my favorite game before I came to play. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've talked about Dave before. Yeah. Uh, if you listen, you know. But he's, he's like, that man I can't beat. Like, I, yeah. I meet him at the top table of every fucking tournament. Every fucking tournament, he beats me. Mm. So it's revenge time. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> Maybe. I know, know, Taylor. Shut up. I'm leaving the audience suspense. <laughs> I'm going to ruin it. Fuck you. I'm gonna ruin it. Fuck you. Right? He beats Danny. Don't you? Yeah, I beat Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so, Danny is playing Necrons. He's playing, um, he's got Immotech, a Lord, uh, 25 Immortals with uh, Tesla, 10 Lich Guard, 3 Doom Sides, 6 Destroyers, and 9 Tomb Blades with Tesla that ignore cover and I'm 3 plus. Um, so first turn, we get, um, quarter deployments, first turn, I don't get first turn. So, um, he kills 500 points of my army first turn. He kills, Woo! he kills my Dominus. Yeah. With the, uh, mortal wound strat. And I spread out my army as much as I could, but it's such a small deployment zone that there's not, like, I'm, I have to put stuff together. There's not much I can do about that. And you have so much, like, so mess. Much. Yeah. That are in such big units. Yeah. So he kills my Dominus with the regen strat, which with the regen ruler, which really sucks. That really hurts my army a lot. Yeah. Um, he kills six, excuse me, he kills seven Catatrons. Um, he kills all of my Sekitari. Mm-hmm. And then he kills some Rangers. So he kills literally 500 points of my army the first time. Fuck. Yeah, it's pretty disheartening. Um, then he, so my knight was about halfway up the table, he literally forgot that move blocking was different now with the, with his doom size because he put Ooh. all his doom sides in front of my in front of my Yeah. But I just moved him over it because he he didn't stack the planes like you have to now. He just put one plane in front of the knight, so the knight moved over the base and then had a really good shot at his destroyers. I kill a plane. I get another plane down to like half, and I get a destroyer unit down to two guys. And I think I, I think I might kill something else. I'm not super sure. Did Danny work his regeneration magic? No. Ooh. On his turn two, 
he gets zero destroyers back. Ouch. Yeah. On a full plus. He gets zero back. So then... By the way, Nate just finished playing Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. He killed, like, he killed half my Dark Reapers, a unit of Rangers, and did a bunch of stuff to some other guys. Oh, no. Yeah, with, yeah. Uh, with that strat. I hate that strat so much. So good. It's so good. Please, please make it stop. The croissant strat. The croissant. Would you like a croissant? Would you like three fucking flying croissants? I don't. <laughs> Stop rolling five plus as long as I kill my fucking characters. Please. <laughs> um, anyway, so he doesn't get any destroyers back on his turn two, which is so good for me. Um, and from there, it just turns into a, a fucking slog fest. Yeah. My knight moves up on his Lich Guard of characters because I've taken, I think, I've taken something that kills my characters. Um, I mark the plans for death and I mark the destroyers. You've taken something to kill Carrie Headhunter? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, my absolute first priority is murdering the headhunter. Excuse me, murdering the destroyers. Because mm-hmm. if I murder the destroyers, then he has nothing that can fight my knight. Because yeah. my every game you fight if you have a knight and you're fighting Tesla Necrons, take the two plus save. Take the two plus save on the knight, no matter what you're doing. Always. It's it's too good not to take. Your knight will die if you don't take that. Yeah. You will die. Yeah. So You need those twos. I know if I can kill the destroyers, my knight can do whatever it wants. Yeah. And that's what I do. I believe I have to use the knight shooting to kill the destroyers because my um, catafrons have a tendency to whiff without their character to support, so they kind of do that. However, I do kill his other plane, and I get his two blades down to, like, six guys, I think. Um, his turn three, he just shoots all of his immortals. And literally from turn three on, the immortals only shoot the knight. That's the best all they shoot. The knight does not die this game. Oh, that's okay. how that's how important the two plus save is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, and if you're not familiar with the mortal stuff, they get three they get three shots on fucking fives. Yeah. And they're assault too. It's it's rough. Um. So we just fucking grind it out. It's it's we trade kills. It's I'm I'm slowly working into an advantageous position um, because he just can't kill. He has to with my knight. He can't kill it, and that leaves the rest of my army to freely shoot at the stuff that is trying to hurt me. Um. So yeah, that's that's the game. My uh, my knight spends the entire time in his backfield. Eventually kills all the lich guard. Eventually kills uh, Trazi. Uh, not Trazi. I'm sorry. Imatech. Eventually kills Imatech. Um, I kill all his planes. I get all my mark for death points. Kill his destroyers. I kill all his um, his two blades. Uh, two blades are really scary against my list because my list really wants cover. Uh, because getting cover on cataphrons is super important because yeah. that gives them the two plus. Yeah. And the two plus just skyrockets their strength. Yeah. So that's what my list really wants to do. I'm considering going over to Mars. I'm playing around with a couple lists right now. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I at the end I pull it out. Twenty eight to twenty four. Yeah, that was Fuck yeah, dude. That was the that was a that was the most swingy game I think I've ever witnessed. Yeah. Um possibly because I was actually just watching it for the entire time <laughs> instead of playing in the tournament. But oh, my yeah. knight made a super heroic charge. On the yeah. last turn, um, he need he needs a she. Excuse me, the pilot is a she. Oh, okay. She yeah, needed, yeah. She needed to make a nine inch charge. Yeah, that's not weird. Yeah, because she was over. There were immortals on one side of a crater, and I had failed to kill a scarab squad by one point, and I took old school. So if I don't, I not only don't get kill, I don't get kill more, and I don't get last, I don't get last point scoring. Ooh. That's a three point swing. That could easily lose me the game. Did you have a command point for rerolls? I did not. Oh my god. So, knight rolls. I'm like, alright, I need this. And my ro- knight rolls a 10. And I get in and I kill all the immortals. Oh, thank god. Fucking hero knight. <laughs> and I last episode I was really scared that my knight would just fucking die. Yeah, we were talking a lot about like, oh, should I... You, should you I were bring, talking about, bring, should, I bring, should I bring the knight or should I bring punchy bots? Right. Like, yeah. And I eventually decided with the knight because it's just a consistent firebase. And yeah, it didn't let me down. It did really well this tournament. Yeah, um, I was really scared yeah. I was going to come up. And like the game was me and Nate played. The knight did die just because my list kills flyers so fast. Yeah, and most of our games were over by turn three. I, I, every single game we played, I killed three flyers a turn. I do want to say though, in the one game we did play where you did bring your knight, yeah, uh, 
didn't do as much as the rest of your list. Did not. Absolutely did not. However, I do agree that it was a good idea in taking it. Yeah. Because it either your opponent either has to ignore it or they have to dedicate more shooting than anyone probably should to it. Right. And and for the states, I mean, it was pretty primed with all with all your Icarus stuff. We had three Eldar fire lists. We had five. Is that correct? We had five. We had five. We had five. I think so. No, it was no. myself, a guy was, from Fairbanks, and the. Randall. Yeah, it was, there's, there's it was myself, three. Randall, and Eric. I was on, no, and Randall. I said Randall. Did you? Yeah, I said myself, <laughs> Randall, and Eric. Uh, that's it's right. just three you, Elder Files. I thought there was five. I thought for sure. I could, no, there was three. Okay. You got me. You got me. <laughs> and honestly, I wouldn't even call Eric's that much of two based around fires because he, I think he only took like three. No, his was a dark creeper list. He had like 20 yeah. dark creepers. Yeah. Um, we had three people with knights. With knights or knight players? With knights. Yeah. We had one actual knight player. Yeah. And I included yeah. him in that three. Cool, Brad. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, our lists our, our list were super diverse as far as like tournament lists go. Um, yeah, I mean, when I was punching in scores and we were getting towards them, I'm like, man, this top has just like uh, Necrons, Tau, Necrons, like yeah. Admech. And I'm just like, um, why are the Elder Flyers down here? <laughs> yeah, Nate got the best flyer placing and he got seventh. Eric did score higher than me in fourth, mm-hmm. but. He was he was as you said dark reaper list right and he was yeah. he, he yeah. had three, two two or three two or three yeah, yeah, he was yeah. the fire list he was just Eldar. yeah 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 well well that was states I think it was a great time I loved watching it I feel like everyone who was there had a great time it's unfortunate that it didn't make it to GT status but like we said Alaska can be tricky and I guess this year it just fell on a really and weird last day last year we had forty two people yeah. last year we had forty two and this year it just came up to be like twenty just so a weird weekend, honestly. yeah um, but I had fun do you I guys mean, have fun I had a fucking great time yeah no it was great I liked it yeah yeah well um, stick around uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a break and when we get back we're gonna go ahead and dive into uh, talking about the Tau Codex and uh, recent Tau lists that have been. Uh, kind of cropping up and doing very well uh, all across the country. Cool. Well, everyone, welcome back to the Dark Imperium Dive Bar. So let's dive into Tau. Now, um, the last time we did a little bit of a Codex review, we talked about Space Marines. And afterwards, we weren't quite satisfied with what we did. We kind of went through data sheet by data sheet, talking about the different chapters and it just, it seemed a little dry. Today we're gonna to go at it from a little bit different, a uh, little bit of a different perspective. Um, one, we're gonna just talk about Tal in general um, as a faction, like um, their current strength. Um, Nate here has been playing Tal for how long? Several editions. Several editions. Billion years. So he's kind of like our expert here. Taylor, Taylor memorizes everything he reads about 40k for some I just reason. Kinda, yeah, I just pour it all he my just brain. soaks it up. Um, me, I know enough about Tau, but I'm also the person who will be like, hey, is this good? And then be beat down and told, you know, no, this is not good. No! But, <laughs> no! But, but I'm willing, I want to do that right now. So, uh, and then we're going to talk about... You, you um, want us to verbally beat you I down. want you to verbally... No, we're not going there. I'm okay. Um, many forms of soul. So, <laughs> we've had drinks. So, um, <laughs> so no. we're going to start, <clears throat> and uh, and then we're going to eventually end up talking about uh, a recently successful uh, Tau list and pro- potentially talk about why it's been recently successful. Um, so, I guess to get started... Um, out of the Tau Codex, guys, where do you think? What do you, what do you think the 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 biggest strength really lies? I mean, we have we have shield drones. They're obviously a very specific and very unique. They're the backbone of the army, and if they go away or change in any way, it's going to adversely affect the army massively. I still think they should. The biggest there are a couple of big, really big strengths. Uh, the biggest one in my mind is strength five across the entire army. Yeah. Um, I've said this many times. I think strength five is like the optimal profile because you pay 
a good amount of points for a strength five. You don't yeah. pay too much. You usually, honestly, pay a little bit less than you probably should. But strength five is really great. Fire warriors, fire warriors, pathfinders, every, their weapons, all that stuff. Every suits the majority of tower weaponry is based around strength five and six. Everything yeah. that is not like a melta gun <clears throat> or a riptide specific weapon is strength five. Right, which is fucking great. That's so good to have with a high volume of shots. Okay, that's that's like where I want my stuff to be. Yeah, shield drones are obviously very durable if you don't shoot the shield drones, which yeah. I think is fucking hilarious. Um, riptides are. They have, uh, they're shooting, they, all they do is shoot. That's all they do. Mm-hmm. That's all, all the whole army does is shoot. Yeah. And. They're a gun line. Yeah. In most matchups, I think they can shoot very, very well. Um, there are some matchups I think they should just lose, but that hasn't been proving true in a lot of tournament results that we've seen in this tournament. True, correct. And tournaments that we've seen um, elsewhere. Matchups that Which I is th- interesting. It is. I th- Why? <laughs> That's I, the question. I don't know. Match. I think they should just lose the flyer matchup. I yeah. think they should just they should just never win that one. Yeah. Um. But do you think it's the the fifth marker light that plus one to hit that really helps with that? I don't think they ever even get that because they do fairly often. You can de- you have to dedicate a lot to it, and it's, it's almost f- well. They so most lists have usually six to seven marker light sources, and they're all characters. So they're probably hitting on fives yeah. or fours. They're hitting so, on fives. You can also make those explode, and if you're depending on what step you're running, you have access to one to two strength. I think you should always have Sasea. I think Sasea is super good, just like to have the one detachment because you Tau doesn't need three detachments. And Sasea, say it has a stratagem where you pay two CP and you pick a unit. Yeah, and that unit, <clears throat> and every unit within six gets a marker light. Mm. Oh, That's, okay. It's fairly common for quite a while. And I think some people still do this to take a. Uh, I actually haven't seen that. Just three fire sight marksmen, which all they do is marker light. Yep. Yeah. And no one up here has done it. We have very few tile players. And the ethereal, yeah. because the ethereal's, ethereal's buffs are locked to sept. Yeah. So if you take a Sasea Ethereal, it can help out your Tau Sept Fire Warriors. Right. Stuff like that. I yeah. do, however, think that the bulk of every Tau Army should be Tau. Yeah, I super agree with that. Yeah, it's the other bonus is really nice, mm-hmm. and there's certain units like Yavars that are un- that are almost unplayable if you don't run them as a certain as Borkin. Yeah, if they're not Borkin, they're not yeah. played. Mm-hmm. Uh, I definitely liked. Uh, oh, what's the name of it? The assault uh, it gives you bonuses to assault if you assault you can still fire assault weapon Viola yeah Viola yeah. I really like Viola for certain things mm-hmm. but the things it benefits are not broadsides not, not, not reptiles they're, yeah they're not broadsides not reptiles cool they're stealth suits and cold stars right Which, and breachers too god I love breachers in all forms I love um, if I were to play Tell, I would play fucking stealth cadre cause that shit is fucking cash <laughs> fucking cool. fucking cash. money. No, I've, def- I've definitely had success with stealth suits. I greatly enjoy stealth suits. I don't think there's they're they're not the most optimal thing in the army. No, they're not. Anyway. I just think they're really cool. Yeah, they've definitely oh, yeah. They've, they've got a, they've got a nice trick in their deployment. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're minus one to hit. They're which is f- great. They're one of the few things to keep sure infiltrate. Yeah, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, you can take a melt gun in them, but you generally just I don't want think to you take should. the burst cannons. I don't think you should. It keeps the cost of the unit low. I think it's the same thing as taking a blaster in Cabal Squads and Venoms. Never do it. It always misses. Just yeah. take just take the burst cannons. And they have fly. They have fly. And you they can, can just take a, dip out. They can fucking take a still uh, a system on each guy. Mm. They can take each one, right? Yeah. You put ATS for like five points, two points, something like that. Which is the but if you know. you've got the points, do it. Yeah, totally. I I just think they're cool. And what what I generally see, <clears throat> and this is, this isn't do with stealth suits, but I generally see people juggling either bringing missile fissy broadsides yep. or bringing the high yield riptide. I've got my big fuck off rail rifle gun. So so I th- riptides with the ion accelerator, yeah, to me are quite rare in this current meta. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a decent gun, and a one of them in your three riptide firebase is not a terrible idea. With velocity tracker, having strike that is nice, but the burst, the high yield burst cannon is just flat. I would better. just rather have it goes back shots. to the six. Yep, because it's eighteen shots and overcharges strength six. Yep, and if it's tau set, which it always should be, it gets plus one to wound mm-hmm. against the knight or whatever. Um, which couples nicely with uh, dark strikers. Ability. Sure does. So I think if we're gonna talk about tau, I think the optimal list is <clears throat> three broadsides, two riptides, shitload of drones, and fill fire warrior points. And then have Shadow Sun and Dark Strider, and then whatever the fuck you want besides that. Who fucking cares? You have that shit, you're golden. 
That's, I mean, <clears throat> stealth suits can really help you pull off recon. It can. Stealth suits are really good for certain stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just kind of pricey. Yeah. It's, what, 75 for three? Yeah. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's yeah, exactly. It's And honestly, if you're, ch- if you're taking recon as tile, then you've pro- you're probably taking cold stars in your armor. For three. Do they have been involved? No. No. Okay. No, they the, can, the, vast, the vast majority of things in the Tau Codex have to buy them. Can they buy an involved? Because they can each take a, st- a system. I don't... Yeah, I think they can take shields. I think they'd it's have... It's not worth it, I though. think they'd have to... Yeah, I think they, if they do, it's 10 points also. I was just comparing them to thinking about, like, uh, Space Marine Scouts and just, like, you know... Oh, they're better offensively, for sure. Yeah. They have way more utility. They're way better offensively, for sure. I was just thinking about, like... Passive, um, passive like the scoring. Big, the big thing is that they're elites, also. Yeah. So that's true. scouts are troops. Yeah. So you can just put them in. If you could do the old Stellar stuff of making them troops, mm-hmm. then I think they're you could take that in any list. Yeah. Um, but they're not, and they're elites, and they're seventy five points. I just would rather dedicate those points to having more fire warriors or having another broadside. Yeah. Big right. same. Yeah. Yeah. So, so also worth mentioning is I do think that sniper drones have places in lists. I yes, I do think they're very good as snipers go. They have a lot of army wide utility and interactions. I very drones. much agree. I very much agree with that. Uh, however, they take a decent amount of support characters. I think just one. Just one. I think just one. Uh, well, no. Okay, so you're always going to have a fire sight. They need two. You're always going to have a fire sight. Fire sight and a drone commander. Yes, and. That's when I was building tell lists about six months ago. That um, I traded a Riptide for like 20, 21 sniper drones with a, a Sib commander with um, with drone controller and a fire sight. I think you're always taking fire sight anyway. Yeah. It's a twenty five point character. Great. That that has a marker light. It's super useful. Um, and then you're always taking commanders. I'm not. I don't like suicide fusion commanders that are cold stars I uh, against like seems to be a big thing yeah it, ev- a lot of players do it I don't like it I do enjoy enforcers with cyclic ions more sure yeah uh, I feel like I, I agree with that having one to two units out of your generally static army uh huh just fly up in the face of something and oh I didn't kill it just right and like Obviously, the four the four fusion commander has utility because four fusion sitting on fucking two is going to be good and is going to be good for anybody, and that moves forty inches if it advances. It can let you assign. I just, I just don't. That's a lot of points. That's a character that you just sacrifice to maybe kill something. That and, doesn't have an involvement if you're taking four right. Blasters. And, uh, it's it's a consideration. I don't like it personally. Um. Yeah. So I think. If we're going to talk about the Tau Codex, I think they're currently a tier one army. I think they're extremely good in the current meta right now. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've been seeing that, right? We have. It's been... In most GTs and majors that have been going on for the past month, month and a half, Tau have been top five like every time. Yeah. And a Tau has got seventh at LBO. So even before all this stuff, like they were still good. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was an interesting list because I had Darian Grant yeah. in it from uh, Blackstone Fortress. Yeah, it was really good. He's actually got a surprisingly amount of surprisingly high amount of utility. Just go, that blows up. He's only like twenty five points. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I think I think they're with the Luda nerf, which we didn't talk about, by the way. Luda's got nerfed, which is fucking great. They can't mob up anymore. Oh yeah, we haven't even <laughs> mentioned that. Yeah, Luda's, yeah. Luda's no longer can mob up. Which means you no longer have to eat twenty or excuse me fifty d three of fucking attacks from them. Yeah. Which now you only have to eat thirty, which is significantly better. Um, although now they're mostly spending it on the sag, which oh, I hate that god. Go back to town. <laughs> Going back to town. With, with the most recent chapter approved and some changes, and I think you even going to get touched much. Yunari went away. Yunari went away. Um, Casellans went down. Casellans went down. Luna's got worse. Um. All the like forty. Uh, so another another thing that Tau struggle with is longer range shooting because most Tau stuff is 30, 36. So anything that's forty eight has a real significant advantage over them. Everything that was forty eight inches, Dark Reapers that are Yanari, Castellans, Ludas, that kind of shit, that all just kind of got either nerfed or went away. So yeah. I think they're in a much better position now. Because everything has to fight them on kind of their terms. Yeah. Um, and a lot of their firepower got a lot cheaper. Like sure did. Broadsides 
so much better now with the, how cheap the uh, their upgrade was. Missile costs. fist broadsides are like 110, 150 points. Which is fucking great value for what you would yeah. get. So, I don't think Tau necessarily got better. I just think everything that kind of dicks them got worse. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. Also, the changes to uh, Kalyan in the recent FAQ, where you get to pick what units are affected you are by, correct. is a big bonus. They did just get a nerf again, though. I don't know if you guys saw the fact that came only two days Oh, ago. the uh, Overwatch clarification? Yes. So yeah. now you no longer get Cole's reroll on Overwatch, which, fair, but now I no longer get my Dominus's reroll on Watch, which, no. But you, <laughs> you now, lo- now, lo- now no longer get Kalyan in, in Overwatch, which sucks. Um... But I don't know, weird, weird fact season. Strange, but you still you still can use your uh, your reroll ones from Argonites. You can, yeah. and you still get to choose your units that are affected by it, which is fucking yeah. awesome. So no, yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> as as the so this is the point where I throw out dumbass things that I like from the Tau Codex. And I asked these two gentlemen, who are very accomplished, uh, 40k oh. gentlemen. Mm, thank oh. you. Warms oh. my cold mm. little heart. Uh, why the fuck don't they work? Long strike. Long strike with some hammerhead gunships. No survivability. So we talked about this last episode. I think maybe, maybe, maybe. we talked about spammable toughness seven models. He's yeah. stacked with enough to make him worth looking at. Mm-hmm. Dies immediately. Yeah, he does die immediately. Because because shield drones just can't work. On they shield don't. drones do not affect long strike. No. Yeah. So broadsides and reptiles are infinitely more survivable. Yeah. Um. He doesn't even have two plus. Does he? <clears throat> he has three plus, doesn't he? Uh. He has a three plus. Yeah. Yeah. Has and no native involved. Broads and rips reptiles. Oh yeah. Reptiles. No native involved. Yeah. Yep. He's twelve wounds. He's character. He's able to pick him out. Granted, if you're running him in three broadside or, excuse me. Three hammerheads. Mm-hmm. You get turn one. You're probably going to kill something. It's a lot oh, of yeah. damage. Definitely have. Sure. It's, yeah. good. it's good. However, Do and I agree that strong yeah. maybe with you, right? Because with Castellan kind of going away, with all the stuff we just talked about, all yeah. that anti, all, all the anti tank just kind of leaving. Maybe strong maybe. Yeah. Uh, I still don't want to put that many points into a fire base that just evaporates. True. Uh, hammerheads are 150 question mark. Ish. 150 ish, and long strike is 180. I want to say, going completely by memory. So, can borrow your hammerheads for tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know where they are. They're there. I see them. Um, they're in the box. Uh, those are devilfish? I don't... Fucking whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they look the same. It's the same thing. <laughs> Everything is the same. Do you see a turret? Uh, well, I see a big hole where a turret could go. Could go, but it doesn't because it's devilfish. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking got me there. So I think maybe. I've, I've seen a couple players in a couple tournaments trying mech tau. I think mech top might be real. You take like yeah. you take like two battalions, uh, some breachers and or strike squads. I've seen those two. Those look pretty good, especially compared with Monka. Yeah, because it but boosts those assault weapons up and helps right. you get into like tasty breacher range. Right, and they all have so many seeker missiles. Yeah, which you know maybe maybe. So I think I think long strike and the boys are hard. Maybe I think no previously before all these nerfs. I think now. I'm still oh, leaning towards more to the no end of maybe. Really depends mm-hmm. on the meta shake out, honestly. Right. Yeah. If, if we see like guard leaving rust lines, then no. But it, it it just really bothers me to spend points on something that is so stacked with abilities right. that if it dies, my army can hack. So so if I was op- someone just opening the tap code X and I was looking through it and I was thinking, all right, well. Sh- Shit, there's no there's no psychers here, but uh, they have a thing called an ethereal. Yeah. Um, what are you guys thinking about that? What are you guys thinking about? Ethereals? One ethereal is decent. One ethereal is good. One ethereal is decent. One ethereal is good to stand next to all of your things within six inches that is sitting next to Shadow Sun to give everybody six bill in hand. Also, yeah. uh, if you're mon- or if you're mon calling that turn, which the player did against me in round two, um, you can give them reroll advance and charge distances, which was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zephyr's Grace, I think that one was called. Mm-hmm. So also his leadership bubble is really nice. On yeah, leadership like leadership nine? seven. Yeah, army. Yeah, it's really good with yeah. drones because you make the leadership five or six drones leadership nine, which obviously drones are dying all the time. They're even killing themselves pretty often. So pretty good for that. I think one of the is really good. 
No, no, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. No psychic defense at all in the army, though. None at all. Yeah, yeah. Like, they can't yeah. even... They, they can't, can't deny or they, anything. They can't even buy, buy, buy gloom prisms like Necrons can. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't... Uh, when they brought back... Uh, I'm going to say brought back Farsight. They, when they brought the 8 in, yeah. uh, they didn't include anything useful whatsoever. No adamantium will for you. No uh, <laughs> No talisman Arthas Bollock. Absolutely not. So that kind of sucks. But every army has a weakness, I guess. It's just kind of weird that the Tau don't participate in three phases, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother to ask about the stuff to do with charging and fighting. Like, uh, fucking, I, yeah, I wouldn't. Fucking, yeah, I'm not even going to ask about crude carnivores. What Fars- I, far- okay, so, Farsight's or, backtracking. Yeah. Or, crude hounds. Crude hounds. Crude hounds. Third three. Legit, I think are legitimately good screens. Did you just, just start with hard disagree? No, they're a good screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said hard. Uh, di- he said crew hounds. I thought you said hard disagree. Negative. They have a nice close combat stratagem. Oh yeah. Yeah. I forgot they even have stratagems. Honestly, yeah. the crew the crew hounds have one stratagem. They sure do. Uh, Let's see. Let me pull they're not by quick. any means going to win you a game through close combat. No. But they can tie up a unit you don't want to exist. Mm-hmm. However, with the changes to how fly and charging works. Yeah. Very hard on the no side of maybe. Oh yeah, but they are out there, and if you're trying to build a thematically cl- crew, uh, crude army, we know a guy up here who does that. Yeah, we do. He's actually quite. He's actually got a, quite a lot of stuff rolling. Yeah, it's really scary. It's cool. Yeah, uh, it's not scary because it's good. It's scary because like, oh god, all that effort. But generally, your best screening unit, which also comes out to be one of your better units in your codex, is a fire warrior. Yeah. So we're talking about uh, hunting hounds, one yep. CP stratagem. When a crude hound for a unit completes a charge. Till the end of the phase, you can reroll failed charge rolls for other friendly crew units. Yep, it's, yeah. the, it's the armor just strap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which okay. is, it's fine. Um, cheap chaff will always be good, but cheap chaff is preferably in the troop slot. Yeah. So, yeah. Especially when it's, what, like six points a model? Yeah, six, seven points a model with a 30 inch range strength five rapid fire gun? Yeah. It's their, yeah, their, their seven points. Fair. Other thing to point out, uh, through Unity Devastation is probably the only good Warlord trait in the book. It is literally the only good one. It is the... If your Warlord can see something that points at it, anything that shoots at it on 6s to wound gets minus 1 AP. Or 5s if you're Tau with Strata. Yep. Which, again, you should always be Tau. Yeah, always generally be Tau. Sorry, Tau Sept. Tau you're, Sept. you're the Tau you should always, That's so fucking confusing. If, <laughs> if, if you're Daleth, you're playing the game wrong. Sure are. If you're... Unless you just really like Farsight, you're playing the game. Farsight is not Daleth. No, sorry. Uh, Farsight Enclaves. Yeah. So you just like really like him. Farsight Enclaves has probably one of the better stratagems in the book. Yeah, it's a good stratagem. It's a fucking shit awful trait, though. Yeah. It's just not as. It, if it would be a good trait if jump shoot jump still existed in the game. Yeah. Which would... is still something it is a, that is a hill I will die on. It, it, could, be, <laughs> it could be okay if um, the war gear that lets. Suits drop within six of enemies and within six of um, stealth suits. If that was within five, then maybe because then they could pop their they could pop their um, fucking trait, but they can't. They never can when they come down mm-hmm. ever, which why? is counterintuitive to the theme the, of the army. The entire army is wants to do that. They all want to jump down. And that's their whole strategy. And that's the whole point of the army. That's why everyone likes them. So, thanks. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. And nothing in that army can ever be as good as overwatching on fives. It just can't. And, yeah. and Tau Step gets the plus plus one to wound stratagem, which is probably the best stratagem in the book. And they get Dark Strider. And they get uh, Shadow Sun. They get all the good stuff. So, you just... it's That's just how it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I would be remiss to uh, if I forgot our good friend who's currently on Kong Island fighting off centipedes. Me? Um... <laughs> there are no centipedes in my house. Oh. Matt, Matt would. Uh, they're not. Ju- they're not centipedes. They're smaller. They have eight legs, and they're called spiders. Okay. <laughs> Kill them when we see them. Megarachnids. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, so, so Matt really was interested in bringing up uh, ghost kills, ghost kill battle suits, um, in here. Um, I have no idea why. Um, he just likes them. He just likes them. I mean, they are cool. They're I mean, they're cool. stealth suits that are bigger. They're one of the better models I've ever put together. They have a lot going on. Yeah, they're really cool. Their heads look stupid as shit, but... Yeah, you can... 
If you open it up and it has like the guy like looking out and screaming, I think that's pretty cool. But um, in terms of like viability with play or anything, it just I don't think so. Hard baby. Hard. You never want to take the melta on them because it, it is a D three melta shot. So it's not one, which is great. Thank you. Appreciate it's that. Better. It's yeah. better. Um, you want to take the what's like heavy six, the heavy, heavy yeah. eight. You can overcharge it too. Yeah. You always want to take that one just because more shots is better always, in especially in the tower. Uh, secondary is generally burst cannons. Yeah, generally. If your options are have anything to do with a plasma rifle, you take a burst cannon. Yep. So they are, if memory serves, 145 points with their drones with the good loadout. They're fairly durable because they have the minus two. Um, if you don't kill their drones, which is honestly pretty nice, they're yeah relatively. You can buy a shield. You should buy a shield generator for four plus. Yeah, definitely. So anytime you take a suit, mm -hmm. should get that it's a broadside. Bomb. Really, you Let's can make an argument either way. Or XP nines. Or XP nines. Yeah. Anytime you take a riptide or a ghost kill, you're putting shield generator on because yeah. you're dedicating too many points for that thing to just die because just you don't die. have an ammo. Yeah. Because the majority of armor saves, with the exception of the riptide and the broadside, are three. Yep. Which both of those have two, which is fucking great. Um, it's just too many points for generally not enough damage, not enough, not enough a lot. It, it, it can tie stuff up because it moves pretty fast, um, but generally most stuff in this game that is played right now doesn't care about being tied up. Knights don't care about being tied up. Yeah. Like, Reachers don't care about being tied up. Caladiuses don't care about de being tied up. There's a lot of easy... Uh, there's a lot of ability to fall back, certainly. Yeah. Um, or, or just, just murder you in melee. Out. Out there. Or just yeah. murder you in melee, yeah. So, a lot of stuff doesn't actually give a shit about being tied up. So, that ability is nice. Doesn't honestly really ever matter. Yeah. You're, if you're taking it... If you're taking a ghost kill, you're probably trying to do the deep striking stratagem. Sure. Yeah. You're probably taking two. There's already also. a lot of moving parts. Yeah. They're big models, they're hard to hide. They do have minus two though, which is great. That is that is like they're cool. They're if, cool. If they were a little cheaper and if they had more output going for them, I'd yeah. probably, yeah. probably see more if of them. If they if they had burst tide equivalent weapons, then I think they'd be amazing. Um, but they don't. So they're not. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. They're just too expensive. Okay. Well, Nate, do you want to pull up um, the list that um, uh, we got? So, so the top Tau player as of uh, us recording, he's at 799.94 points. Holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty high. It's it's around, um, that's around top 40 overall, like, it, as players in ITC. This, the ITC change that happened, what, three-ish months ago? Yeah. With the point increases for stuff like RTTs and things like that? Yeah. It's holy, holy god. So he's only four out of four, so it doesn't look like he has... He's miss, He's missing a major, Probably missing a major, yeah. Um, but Richard Seeger, um, Siegler, uh, Siegler, yeah. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> he, he had the, uh, he took third? Third at BAO. Yeah, third at BAO 40K Champs 2019. Um, and that was a major or GT? It was a major. Yeah. There's like 100 people there. Okay, so he's not missing a major then. Um, but he had... Uh, let's let's just take a look at like what, what he brought. Let's take a look at his list. It looks pretty standard. Standard? Yeah. What do you mean? He had like 36 shield drones in a, in a fucking super suit. That's not what I'm looking at. Oh shit! Yeah, that's not that. That's not the Talar. No, there's, what? there's two pages to this list. What that means he doesn't of? have a super suit. What fucking. What are you looking at? No, he's got. Oh, I think that's Stormer Silence. Yeah, I, I think that's what you're I think. Of. I think Stormer Silence. Are you talking about the the, the one where they brought that thing? <laughs> yeah, the one where I brought. That's the Talar, right? Talar. 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 The one where uh, that Rob Porter went to down in. Um... Yeah, Storm Silence. Yeah, Storm Silence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. another Tal list. Got second. And oh, okay. It had a, it had that thing. Oh, okay. And fuck down. Oh, okay. That was what I was thinking of. Yeah. No, this is this a, is, this is a two. It's a Tau battalion. A, a Tau outrider. Mm -hmm. With pathfinders and drones. Looks like he's only got sixteen-ish drones that I can see, and then a riptide firebase in a uh, in a vanguard. It's the standard Tau list. You kind of get shooed into it because the majority of things in the codex are either costed oddly for the output that they do, yeah, or just do really well for the price point. Yep. Yeah, and that's and three riptides, or two, 
Or two. I pref- Generally, people take three. I prefer two and three broadsides. That's my that's my preferred style. And the thing that put, I think pushes a lot of people away, including myself, from broadsides, it's fly. is their ability to get tied up in combat. Yo. Because then you lose so much of your shooting. That's true. I don't disagree with that. And so, so much right now of Tau's success seems to just be efficiency. Yeah. Efficiency for what they You need to out. synergize your army. You need to make sure that the thing you're going to put marker lights on is going to get those marker lights. Because hmm. if you just, you can't just go around and put, I'm going to put one marker on this, one marker on this, one marker on this. You know, you need to get five on a hard target. You need to hopefully get the stratagem off, which you should be able to. You're throwing way too many dice at it to not get the stratagem off. Totally fine. Uh, Nova charging your riptides. If, you, if you're going to Nova charge your riptides, you're going to use the bullets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the only time yeah. you should ever not use the bullets is if you're in some situation where you have to be in close combat. Yeah. Uh, but most times you really shouldn't be. You should have enough chaff in front of you to not have to worry about it. Yeah. And honestly, the thing that is list that I like, because a lot of people have not taken these that I've seen, and that could just not be my lack of observancy. Fair. Uh, pulse accelerator drones on Pathfinder teams. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the, the plus six range. I mean, I saw you do that all the time. I, I mean, take... my original list was nothing but Pathfinders and Stealth Suits. Yeah. Or not Pathfinders, uh, Fire Warriors and Stealth Suits. Yeah. Like, I, it, they take it for the same reason I take the Manipulus. The plus six range is super key in some matchups. Yeah. Like, the Manipulus is super key for me in the Tau matchup. Um, because that makes my Breachers 42 inch range. It does, however, only apply <laughs> to Pulse Weapons. And unfortunately, Sniper Rifles on the drones are not considered or, Pulse or Weapons. Or facts to yeah. not be, yeah. Which sucks. Cool. Uh, cool. Can you imagine? However, oh, hide your, hide your fucking HQs, man. Twenty-one <laughs> inch rapid fire range, boy. <laughs> that would be insane. That'd be awesome. It is. I mean, that would just be absolutely crazy. I'd be really about it. So then, so then, what's up? What's up with this other list too? With the, with the town R and and thirty something shield drones. That was it. So he had the battalion, like literally, like thirty six shield drones. Like he had three max units with twelve. And the Towner. And mm-hmm. Shadow Sun and um, I think he had a suicide commander. Um, I heard him talk about his list afterwards and he is like, I had one good close game and the rest of my like eight games was I just fucking shot everybody off the table. That's, That's insane. Was yeah. he what loadout was he using? He had the one he used. Oh yeah, the pull the pulse ordinance multi driver mm-hmm. and the two triaxis cannons. To my knowledge, yeah. Yeah. Um, the one with the most shots. Yeah, that is the it's the superior loadout. Yeah, because like the uh, the rail rifle is cool. Which event was this? The this missiles are cool. Storm of Silence. The um, missiles are cool. Yeah. But however, the missiles are one weapon system and not two. Sure do. And they just suffer yeah. from lack of output. Yeah. So anything with the most amount of shots is going to be the best. And it's it's one the, the main problem I have with this tower, but not necessarily the tower the town are. And one of the things that's kind of pushed me away from it mm-hmm. is the proliferation of negative one to hits. Yeah. And it does being a BS four army. No, I know. On Tau Nara's side. Right, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Ooh, and he had some uh, he had some stealth battle suits up in there. Hey, cool. Nice. He had some little stealth suits in there. Probably, I mean, some recon probably really helped. So, stealth suits are really... They're an excellent screen. I just really wish they were troops. That's my big problem with them, is just I wish they were troops. You say screen? Screen, yeah, because they fly, right? True. So, yeah. if, if you want to... He did not have a suicide command. Oh, did you not? I got his list right here. Okay, it's cool. the super heavy auxiliary in a battalion. Gotcha. It's the Contra Fireblade, Shadow Sun, Strike Team, Strike Team, Strike Team, and two units of six, uh, two units of three battle suits. Okay, cool. Or uh, stuff suits. Gotcha. Yeah, so stuff like Swooping Hawks, uh, things like that. Orcs want to charge you first turn. They don't want to kill you first turn. Yeah. They want to charge into your screen and tie it up and wrap it so yeah. that you can't fall back. Yeah. But I fly, so I don't do shit. Yeah. So... That takes that option away from a lot of a lot of <clears throat> melee armies like that. Gene Steelers do the same thing. Acolytes do the same thing. Um, a flying screen, a screen that can fuck with shit like that, super important in today's meta. Um, or just a screen that if you punch into it, it can survive and kick the shit out of you like my hoplites. Because the stealth suit minus one to hit is also in close combat. Mm-hmm. And, they yeah. can, and if they do, if they they can never be tied up because they just fly out. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm interested if you use <sighs> more, it more as a screen or you use it more as true infiltration and just just, just racked in that recon. That or it depends on... Created a distraction. Entirely on matchup. Yeah. That's totally matchup dependent. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure if you're going against Gene Sealers, you're going to throw <laughs> whatever you... Please I'm going to stand in front of me. this town arc. Please stand in front of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was sole game plan. Is I'm just going to fucking shoot everybody and they're going to die. And it worked. Yeah. He got second at Storm of Silence. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Rob Porter. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's pretty cool. 
I mean, I, I'm, I'm very interested in it. I mean, I've always been interested in Tau. I like the idea of the army that just sits there in their giant mech suits and just shoots kaiju all it's, day. But It's man, very one note and doesn't do a lot of things you think it should do. Man, yeah. if, if they had mobility options, I would play that army. Like, yeah. fucking... Throw oh, yeah. All this I can't play the gun line armies, no, to be honest. I need it's my, I need it's my less fun. of it the gun line and more of it took the army from being... Actually, having the two playstyles that they're now given rules for the Monka and the Kalyan, yeah, and made it just this is the Kalyan book, right? <laughs> this, do you do you want a battle suit and do fast, hard, like striking stuff? Fuck yeah, you. no, you're gonna have a bad time because Fuck once you. you're there, you're there. You don't have the option to yeah. jump and shoot and jump out, which to me, and I'm a little biased because I did play enclaves in in seventh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it just takes away a fair bit of the flavor of the army and makes it super one note. Hey For sure. man, you can still do it. You can take that relic on one oh, tower. Six inch move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Talk about how trash the tell relics are. Yeah. The Pure type so nano chip is the only good relic. So bad. The weapons are trash. Oh my god. A case can be made partially because I really enjoy shenanigans and things. Yeah. Uh for the ethereal one, mm-hmm. where you just go, nah, that wasn't me. Oh, yeah, yeah. That has the <laughs> and just move, move away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's second only to the Katachin one, where it's just, oh, look, traps. Blah. Yeah. Gotcha. Four plus. But no, there's, there's, not, there's decent stratagems in the book, but a lot of them you will probably never use because they're so keyworded dependent on having a specific unit. Right. One stratagem of a note, though, that was FAQ'd is the automated system repair ones. Okay. Because you use that at the start of both player turns. Every turn, right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Which is definitely super nice for Riptides that wanted to overcharge in our lower bracketed. Yeah, totally. Um, even even when they like give like a battle suit commander like a good uh, close combat weapon, the Otter Gauntlet, it's like each get, time this no, bearer no, 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 fights. Attack. Look at fusion blades. You only get one attack. Fusion Wait, blades yeah. gives you two attacks. Two attacks. Ooh, okay, two attacks. Because this... punching with a melta gun is apparently too strong, but I can use a thunder hammer, which is fine. I mean, the Avatar can, King can do it. You yeah. can, though. You're not allowed. Yeah. Yeah. I wish you could. He sends spare fights. It can make one and only one well, attack of, with this well, weapon. He's like five attacks, too. Yeah. Yeah, great. Thanks. I appreciate that. I like how they had to put in parentheses after. And only one. Only one. You mother... <laughs> how don't you fucking... <laughs> if I see two, I'm going to have a fucking stroke. <laughs> I better not see that from me. If you fucking try to fight with this army, I'm gonna fucking stroke. <laughs> there are two close combat characters in the book. <sighs> I can feel the blood muscle in my brain. There's Anshi, who is an ethereal, who has no native invuln unless you choose it in the fight phase. <sighs> and there's Farsight, who's actually a lot better. Yeah, Farsight's pretty good. You know, I think he's pretty good. He's like strength 7, AP 4, D6 damage in combat. Yeah. He's like a 5 attacks. Yeah, he's really nice. He gives you uh, nice bonuses to works. Oh yeah, he does. Just super nice for a little bit. That's pretty funny. Yeah, you can uh, reroll all ones unless it's orcs, so you get to reroll everything, I believe. Yeah. Or have it in front of me and I have a play with Farsight. You're correct. So, you're right. correct. He has uh, the he has the uh, Yurik buff. Can yeah. Farsight D strike? Yeah, yeah. He has no bonuses to charge though. Hmm. And he has a, the worst weapon in the Tau Codex. The plasma gun. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even upgrade it though. Do they? I think his is a little different. I think. Oh, it's two. It's minus two AP. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of one. Mm. Thanks. Tau Plasma went from being <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> yeah. It went from being wonderful in previous editions because it was a high strength, high up. AP, couldn't blow you up, yeah. to literally no change. Yeah, so, hey man, Admac got nerfed in this edition too. No, <laughs> no, for real. Like, my my Ranger's guns used to be AP 4. I'm going to shed a figurative tear for the <laughs> army that shoots better than the shooting army. My yeah. sergeant lost a wound. Oh, for no reason. I lost an entire game mechanic. Yeah, I just want to say, I just want to say, like ne- Taylor said, no for real because I think I felt like a blood vessel break in Nate's brain. If after I'm going to have to have a stroke that. because of Tau Melee, he's going to have a stroke too. <laughs> We're all going to have strokes here. <laughs> I'm building the blood vessel in my brain right now. I'm going to have a stroke. Because I don't have jump shoot jump in that army anymore. I don't have a stroke because I don't have which a six Which killed the game. entire reason I played that army, which was battle suits. Yeah, that's fair. You can still take XV9s, though. I think they're pretty good. So. They're okay. So, not to put you on the spot, but I'm gonna. Oh my god. You've been playing Eldar a lot recently. Mm hmm. Um, 
How do you feel about this resurgence in town? Do you? I don't f- think it's a resurgence. Don't think it's a resurgence? No. think that's an inappropriate word to use for that? I don't think it's an inappropriate word. I think there's lesser words that could be said for it. But it's. I'm always happy to see Tao doing well. Yeah. Even if it is not me being the Tao people that are doing well. I just mean, do you feel... Do you feel some Tau in your future? Maybe. I've yeah. played the army for so many years. Yeah. And I think I'm everything burned out on it. Everything gone, you liked about it is gone. Yeah, everything I liked about it is gone. Right. I, I played battle suits. Yeah. Yeah. I played a, like, a Riptide Wing in battle suits, and I loved it. Yeah. And I can't do it anymore. Right. Makes they sense. took away my favorite unit in the book, which was the Buffmander. Yeah. You can no longer stack relics on him and essentially make a field commander who doesn't shoot. And they just, it's gone. Right. I would be more interested in the army if one battle suits functioned at all, and two if you could take the one or excuse me the eight lock them out the one if you could take the eight as in like their own separate fucking or if their relic list was available to other things right like their force orc slot the sad thing about the eight is almost every single one of those individual characters is good they're individually really good yeah but you have to take all of them and a character broadside and all of their drones yeah and a character broadside. Is really good. Oblitai is. is really nice. Yeah, totally. The major- Bright Star, really nice. They're all individually really good, but they cost a thousand points. But no, they cost more than a thousand points. They're like a thousand sixty-five. Yeah. And one, they also sap your three CP. One one. Oh, they take CP away. Yes. You have That's to take it as an auxiliary right. choice, and it saps your CP. Oh, it takes your three CP away. I fucking forgot about that. So it's like the shitty proto specialist attack. It's really not good. So what I'm hearing though is I'm hearing a lot of like you know, battle suits aren't good or battle suits are just aren't performing. Right, unless you're riptide or broadside. Okay, unless that's so that's the clarification that I wanted to hear. XV eighty eights are even with the point drop still subpar. Yep, um, XV nines which are the forge old guys. Yeah, I think they're good because they have rule support that backs them up and makes them worth taking. Yeah, because and also they have two sibs, not sibs. Um, uh, burst cannons. Burst cannons, there we go. Yeah. And then you can take ATS on them. They can deep strike and they have they have like literally like what eight? I believe you can still um, you can also only take a unit of one of them as well. Linked. Yeah, you can. You can take a unit of one. Which is what I really enjoyed about previous battle suits is you can take them in units of one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you take three, yeah. they're still expensive. You can put they have three hard points, which you generally just put guns because it's not worth it putting uh stamp it worth it taking. Iridium armor turned into a two into a two plus armor for one model in the unit. And it costs fifteen points. Yeah. So that sucks. Um the Tau Codex I said at the beginning is I think it's tier one. Yeah. I, um, I also think it had all the flavor and things that I personally like about the Tau completely sat down the book. Which sucks. But they do have a really good build. Yeah, about the only flavor that's left in it is the Paradox of Duality. Off of uh, Anva. <laughs> Anva. Yeah. Yeah, the AP thing. That's super funny. But once mm-hmm. again, doesn't have an in save. <laughs> sure doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> His thing is the more AP you have, the better his save gets. So if you have AP huh. if you if you have AP minus three, he gets plus three to his armor save. Yeah, but eventually that just You just pepper him with small arms fire because he's only yeah. got one of five or six. He's got a, he's got yeah. a five up save over. Yeah. That, so that doesn't Here's my bolter. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. That's my space marine bikes. <laughs> I, still don't, I think it works the way it's supposed to. Yeah, totally. I think it's fine. And that's literally the only flavor left in the book. Yeah. At this point, it has gone from a gunline army that if you want to, you can play a different way, well, to this is a gunline army, this is how you play it, no matter what you do, uh-huh. this is how you play it. They they kept the, the very specific flavor of, my ethereal just died, we are all going to walk at you very angrily and shoot you. That's the flavor they kept. Yeah, that's, how the old, that's how the whole army plays now. We're going to walk at you. Biggest travesties is the Storm Surge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So it's ex- supposed to be crewed by hammerhead pilots. Sure is. Why does its BS suck? Oh, who knows? Um, 
Its anchor points are super funny also. Oh, you mean the anchors that give you plus one to hit if you deploy them at the end of your shooting end phase? Of your shooting phase, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Excellent. It's main, <laughs> both its main gun options are incredibly lackluster. Yeah, but they have like at 46. The end of your yeah, they've got a phase. bunch of strength five shots. Yeah, which... Yay, strength five. And it's cool and great for horde clearing. It costs too much. Mm -hmm. It's BS fucking four. Yeah. Oh. I, I do think a lot of the units... Oh, uh, it hurts my heart. Also doesn't have a native involved. Sure and it's a three-up armor save. You gotta pay for <laughs> it. I want toughness seven. Why? I think they're toughness. No, they have to be toughness seven. There's yeah, no they're way. not tough. They're no way they're eight. Because no. if the fucking tau, if the town are toughness eight, they're probably toughness seven. Yeah, I haven't looked because I don't care about them because they're a bad unit. It hurts me deeply inside that they're bad. Yeah, the, uh, I because I want Shadow Sun and three Storm Surges as my list. I yeah. don't want that. <laughs> But what would make <laughs> storm surges better? <laughs> you just don't want to fight. That. I do, yeah, exactly. I don't want to fight. What would make storm surges better? Is they, don't, they don't need fly. No, they don't fly. Yeah, they don't. Fly. A big walking arm. What they need is the ability to be supported by drones. Yeah, sure. Give them battle suit. Because if you're taking battle suits that aren't supported by drones, they just fucking die. Wait, storm surges aren't battle suits. No, they're vehicles. No, they're vehicles. They're battle suits. They're, they're vehicles. vehicles. They're vehicles. They don't have an enclosed hatch. So, so, oh. Yeah. Oh, so they're crewed gotcha. by hammerhead pilots, and clearly hammerhead pilots and the Tau Fluff can uh, never, can't wrap their heads around a battle suit. No, they no. Have, they can only be in vehicles. Hammerhead pilots. Exactly. They, they like pointed the to that and said, that's a vehicle. Hammerhead pilots have the vehicle keyword. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this codex is weird. It's very weird. <laughs> it's very weird. It's it's one of the it's it's, it's one uncomfortable. of the, yeah. <laughs> That's a way to put it. It's one of the, it's one of those just, codexes where just just makes me feel bad. <laughs> one of it's it's a lot like most of their beer builds beards. Wow. Well. One of their build <laughs> most of their builds are really low tier, but if you build them in a very specific synergistic way, they're quite good. Mm -hmm. And you have to have that synergy because you can't just throw it together. No. If you don't build with not only the synergy of your sept, but your units, your auras, and your marker lights. It's a lot like 8th edition. The best the best units, unless they're just like, here, this unit is fucking too good. Um, it's all about synergy and interlocking pieces. Which is what a competitive list should be. What I think would raise the book up farther, in my view... Give them better roller traits and relics. That's the first fucking give, thing. Yeah, give them better roller traits and relics. Change the stratagems. Yeah, please. And make marker lights always hit on sixes. Because if the core foundation of this army is going to be this one mechanic that can be validated by things that are minus one to hit, yeah, and your only solution to that is use marker lights, mm -hmm. that's too circular for me. I do think that they're so hard to hit that we can't hit them with light. It's insane. Yeah, we can't. We can't even look at them. They're just too fucking sneaky. They're yeah. so it's sneaky. Too, too much. Also, make Pathfinders more like scouts. Give them some kind of defensive bonus for being in cover. Right, because they're yeah. the only scout unit that doesn't get a bonus for being in cover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. your fire start marks when get it instead. The character who can't be shot in most circumstances. To be fair, scouts need to Just buy that. But they let, let the yeah, Pathfinders sure, buy No idea. That. I will buy that. Yeah, yeah let the Pathfinders like, buy that. Like, that will make me look at, hmm, I can take these characters, and I can also take some backfieldy dudes. Yes. But I can't ever move them because they're BS4 and their their marker lights are heavy. So now yep. I'm hitting on fives, which doesn't give me any hope of shooting anything. And those mark, so. yeah, and those marker I do, lights I th matter. I, I do think that Tau should get the orc thing. Not, I think they should get the first half of the orc thing where sixes always hit. The entire game should always hit on sixes. I agree with that. I don't. Yeah, I think. And I think a lot of things that are rolls of six or mm -hmm. six plus should yeah. be changed, like an Age of Sigmar, to natural rolls of sixes. Yeah. And I noticed that when playing Danny today. Yeah. Because. A lot of times when we shot on my planes, they had, they had natural minus ones. Yeah. And he rolled a lot of sixes, and that's a lot of Tesla things that are just gone now. Yep, sure is. So. Makes sense. In some cases, I agree. And, and, like, I don't know. I like stacking bonuses on units to make them better. I think that's fun. I think that's cool. Yeah. And I think having but a capped at six is still good enough for that not to be trivialized. Yeah, I, I just... I also don't like it when my buffs just cease to exist because your unit just exists. I don't think that's fun. Um, I do think... That I, th I think it's more problem with modifiers instead of the army. I don't think modifiers should ever go past minus one unless you pay a stratagem. Um, I think I think you just should be capped at minus one. I don't think you should be able to stack it. Mm -hmm. Or always on sixes, one of the two. It, oh man, my whole army is BS four. Oh excellent! I'm naturally minus two to be hit outside of twelve. Excellent. Yeah, I'm excited to play this game. I pay two CP. Your whole army can no longer shoot this unit. It gets to do whatever it wants. Excellent. Thank you. 
I appreciate this. <laughs> it, it's, I've, I've been on that receiving end of that. I've done that to people. It, it doesn't feel good. It's it's one of the few feel-bad things they have yet to remove from the game. It doesn't promote interactive play. Sure no. doesn't, because the unit that does that can't be charged by most units in the game. Can't be shot by most units in the game. Moves 60 to 70 inches, so ignores terrain. So ignores the basic foundation of the fucking game. I fucking hate flyers in this game. <laughs> okay, stop. All right. No, no, no. no. <laughs> going on this. I'm just going to keep coming back to that. I fucking hate flyers. Well, do we have any final things on uh, the Tau Codex before we want to wrap up with uh, perhaps uh, what we're looking forward to yes. for the next couple so weeks? If you want to play Tau, your primary buy-in is three Riptides. However, if you want to be a badass, just buy a town. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Live in Alaska, get free money every October, and buy a town. There are like three people up here with a town and you're one of them. There's way more people, way more than just three. Really? I'm fairly certain. Oh my god. Oh, okay. so people who play town out fights. like Gundams and giant robots. But you know what? That's fair. So the many, biggest robot we had for the longest time was the Storm Surge, and even before that, it was just the Riptide. So and many, before the Riptide, it was the XV-8. So many people in this fucking state own Titans. Yeah. So many. Oh, Titans yeah. Titans are red, and there's a lot of that sweet, delicious, greasy oil money in there. Yeah, and then yeah. we lost Hogshead, so we lost a Warlord, which sucks. Come back, Hogshead. We miss you. Yeah, we miss you, Hogshead. Um, my final Nate's thoughts... Nate's not going to say it. That's fair. He, doesn't, <laughs> he knows. He doesn't love it. We have a bond. He knows. <laughs> My final thoughts on the Codex is it's a uh, it has good builds. I personally it has a good build. It has good build. It build good. It build good. Uh, I find I personally find it extremely boring to play. Um, yeah. But if you don't, then that's cool for you. Um, and it. I hope we see more releases like the Crimson Fist thing that happened maybe four months ago, where it just kind of buffed up the army for yeah. Like just do that. Just do that for fucking far side enclaves. Do that for I don't, I don't the just whole do, book. Do it for the book. Yeah, I don't, yeah I don't, the whole yeah. book. I don't care. I don't care. Just do that for all the codexes that are suffering because some codexes are really suffering. Um, for sure. And I don't know if you guys filled out the survey that they did like a couple months ago, but I put in I want rules updates every three months. Rules and points. I wrote update. a large chunk of text about my dissatisfaction with a lot of things in the game. Excellent. I'm not surprised. It was very well worded and was not insulting. I don't believe that part at all. Me no, too. no, no. It quite it, it well was. Okay. I didn't want them to get mad. I wanted them to consider my thoughts. So I was, st I, I created a compliment sandwich. Okay? That's fair. Okay. The you start with compliment. The bread. How much I enjoy your game. Right. The bread. And then you get into the meat, the peanut butter, the veggies, the avocado, whatever. I'm and concerned. That is your, I'm I just like the stacking of negative one modifiers. Why did you destroy my army? <laughs> Where the fuck is jump to jump? I dislike this. <laughs> The eight question mark question hello and then you finish it with another slice of compliment. Yeah, I think we're gonna get another special. You look special. really good today. <laughs> Bread. Hey, Games Workshop. What's up, pretty girl? <laughs> you wanna make these? Uh, you wanna make these storm surges into fucking battle suits? Feeling cute. <laughs> Might delete Necrons later. It's okay. Mine was all caps locks. Why is the Sisters of Battle Codex so bad? <laughs> <laughs> Just like 95% of the internet. Well, to be fair, this yeah. is their first codex, so. Yeah, it's the first one they've ever had. Actually, it's not even their first codex. <laughs> so it's, it's the first one they've ever had. Um, no, their first one was a magazine article, which this one is. <laughs> which this one is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's a periodical. Yeah. So, I completely forgot what I was saying. I don't know, but. I think, we're, I think we're going to do a special attachment book soon. They said we are. Hopefully. So, please give. Yeah. Give one so, so tomorrow we've got a four fun tournament hosted by our buddy Nate here. Yeah. Uh, we're it's Ultramar. Uh, uh, fifteen hundred points for new players. It's real fun, real good time. So we're gonna be playing that tomorrow. I'm gonna be playing with like twenty infiltrators. I might bring just all vehicles. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm bringing all the admech stuff I don't normally get to play with. Yeah. And then the rest of my stuff that I think is cool. Yeah. I so as a reminder, uh, have some fun games. Play, bring out those things that you don't usually get to bring out. Never on the have haters. any fun at all. Oh, okay. oh. Never, never have, have any, fun. any fun at all. If never you enjoy this game and are having fun playing it. You're doing something wrong. Yeah, right? there you first. Go. Yeah, that's it, fair. It came right from them. Uh, Throw yourself into the abyss. 
Uh, is there anything else you guys have planned for the next couple of weeks? Uh, uh, I have the next week completely off. Woo! Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to be hell painting yeah. a lot more. I really like painting Admech. I think they're super cool. Got yeah. some Wraith Guard that I've built yeah. that I need to finish painting. Wraith nice. Guard or Wraith Blades? Both. Boy. Both. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to read this Ghost in Shell book. Yeah. I fucking love Ghost in Shell so fucking much. And I think I'm actually going to buckle down and do some painting for once in my we should, life. We should all get together and just have painting nights. And we're literally really free all next week. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, we really need to just, yeah, it makes, it, it helps my sanity to build and paint with others. <laughs> totally. Um, dab on all the haters, and I love you all. Yeah. Eat. Have a great day. All right. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.